Hey, YouTubers! Well, I guess if you were a lucky one like me and you were able to snag a new PS5 like I did early on, then you know uh, what I'm about to talk about. You know, whenever you load your, your PS4 and PS5 games on here, it doesn't take long at all for it to add up. I think I've got like six games, five or six games on my PS5, and uh, it's already full. So... Uh, I've got all these PS4 games right here, and, you know, I can't load them all onto the PS5 because there, there's just no room. And so, you know as well as I do, it's an aggravation to, you know, if you want to play one of these PS4 games, then you got to, you know, delete some off the PS5 to be able to put some of these games on there to be able to play them. So, I've got a solution for you today. Not just any old solution. I got the fastest solution possible for you to be able to put your PS4 games on there and for the PS5 to be able to, to read those uh, faster than any other uh, SSD drive on the market. And what I'm talking about is the Sabrent Rocket 4 Plus. Now, what this is, is an internal solid state drive for basically a computer, but you know they make an enclosure for you to put this in and what this enclosure does is it allows you to plug it in to the PS5's USB-C port. So sure, you could go out and purchase a, you know, just a plug and play external SSD drive and, you know, that would be fine. But you, if you want something that is truly the fastest speed possible right now, then this is the video you need to be watching because there's not a faster uh, SSD drive on the planet right now. So uh, I'm super excited about doing this. If you talk to a lot of computer guys, you know, if you're not into computers or PlayStations and things like that, they'll try to, some of them will try to intimidate you and be like, well, I built my own hard drive, my own uh, SSD. And, uh, you know, that's so misleading. And I was a little intimidated at first because, you know, truthfully, I'm no computer expert. But you know, when I think about somebody building something, you know, you you have to have tools in order to build something. Well, what this does right here is it's a tool-free enclosure. And all you're doing is putting this little SSD into this enclosure and it doesn't require any tools. So, I mean, truthfully, you're not building anything. So don't let some of these YouTube videos confuse you. It's not hard at all to do. It literally takes just a couple minutes and you just plug it in and you're done. And now you've got the, the fastest SSD thanks to the Subrent Rocket 4 Plus. Anyways, this is the two terabyte model. They've got it in the one, the two, and I believe they've got a four uh, terabyte as well. But in, anyways, once you get it out of the box, you can see that it comes in this nice um, metal uh, box to keep it from getting crushed in the mail or whatever. Then it just opens right on up. <laughs> Ain't that swanky. So as you can see, they've got their the information you guide or whatever your installation guide, and then uh, you've got the uh, the drive right down in there up underneath this protective piece. And look at that baby shine! And keep in mind, guys, this is I'm doing it right here with you, first time, no fancy editing and none of that. Uh, so you can see that it comes with a a USB uh, C cable and wow I did not realize that it was gonna be that small gosh it's really tiny so uh, what this is is just the uh, aluminum uh, enclosure and you can see that it's got some ridges on there and that's for like a the heat sink so it transfers all the all the heat out of, out of the SSD right there into this enclosure and so it's gonna get warm so when it does get warm uh, don't pay that any mind. Um, it's it's supposed to get warm. That way, you know, it don't damage uh, this. All the heat goes into this piece here. So on this enclosure, it's really easy to get into. Um, there's a little button right here on this end. And all you do is just depress that in with your fingernail. And then you just pull it down. Ain't that cool? And it just pivots open. <laughs> there's like a little pin right in there that it pivots on and uh, it just opens right on up. So it's very simple. Once you get the uh, enclosure opened up, 
which you only open it up till it, it stops. Don't try to force it open because you'll break that little pin right there and then you know, you'll be crying because it's broke. Then you want to take your SSD and it said in the directions to take in and slide it in there at like a 20 degree angle so it plugs right on in to this uh, little port right in there. And you can see there's the port and you can see there's a little small area and a larger area and you know just match it up you can see the little smaller area there on the, the ssd and then the larger area i mean little bitty kid could could easily do this and you just take and line it up and just push it in okay once you get it pushed in it's going to look something like this it's going to be sticking up just a little bit there in the back but you, you can see that it's plugged into the port right in there and so what you want to do next is just take your thumb and gently push it down and then they give you this little bitty uh, I guess it's a rubber plug that just fits right in that little hole right there. Just take that little rubber piece, that, that little plug, but it's really a fastener. It just basically does uh, what like a little screw would do, and it just holds that little tab on the SSD down and keeps it held down in place. And plus it's rubber, so you know any kind of vibration is going to stop it from from wiggling so that that was pretty genius the way that they've uh, set that up and plus you don't have to use any kind of tools or anything and i sorry i had to do it off camera but you know my hands are a little too big to get a good shot plus i'm a little too shaky but as you can see it took me literally like two seconds to install this ssd into this enclosure and then what you want to do next is just close it up you're done you're done you're done and then once you close it, you can hear that little button snap back out because it's locked in place. And now you have fastest SSD for the PS5. Now, as far as size goes, uh, I've got just an old uh, standard hard drive right here. The, the SSD uh, enclosure is so much smaller. I'll go ahead and measure it for you. It measures four and five eighths. Now that's without the plug uh, sticking out of it because you you will have this plug sticking out like that but still it's uh even to the end of the plug right there you're only at about six inches so it's not very big at all and then as far as the width on it it measures about an inch and a quarter so it's not very big at all and you just plug it in right here on the front of the playstation now you don't plug it in there at the top that's usb but right down here below and I'll use a flashlight to light that up. Now once you get it plugged in, you'll see there's like a little tiny light there on the front. It just lights up blue and that lets you know you've got power. Now as you guys can see, uh, I had already run out of room on the PS5 with just five or six games on there like I was saying. And you, you can see right here, there's just very little bit of storage space left. And so I'm, I'm going to be very thankful to get this uh, this two terabyte SSD installed. Once you plug the Sabrent enclosure into the front of the PlayStation in the USB-C port, what you want to do is go right up here to the very top. I don't know if you can see me moving the cursor or the little circle around, but you want to go right up there to the top right where it says settings and click on that. And then you want to go down here to storage. Click on that. And then right there on your left, it says console storage or extended storage. You want to go down to click on extended storage. And you can automatically see that it has recognized that the Sabrent solid state drive is plugged in. And so what you want to do now is just go over and highlight right here where it says format as extended storage. And then you just click on that. And it says, when you format the USB drive, all data on it will be deleted. Note that saved data, screenshots, and video clips can't be saved in extended storage. Are you sure you want to continue? And you want to go over there to yes. And then you just wait. And it's going to format that uh, USB drive and get it ready. And you see, it only took like a second. Uh, it says this USB drive has been formatted as extended storage. PS4 games and apps will now be installed in extended storage. To change where PS4 games and apps are installed, go to settings, storage, extended storage, and then turn on or off. And 
It says uh, always install PS4 games to extended storage. To stop using and safely remove the extended storage drive, go to settings, storage, extended storage, and then select safely remove from PS5. And, you know, just go down and, and hit OK. And then there you go. You're you're good. You're you're good to start uh, using the uh, the Sabe ramp. So now what you want to do is go ahead and take all the PS4 games off of your PS5 and put them on the the uh, solid state drive. So you want to click on games and apps, and then I'm just going to do one just to show you how fast it is. And since most everybody's familiar with like Grand Theft Auto 5, and it's, since it's a pretty big game, it's 86.27 gigabytes, uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, select it. Okay, so now you can see right up here, I've clicked on items you can move. I've went down to Grand Theft Auto 5, and then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to select uh, move. And so it's going to move Grand Theft Auto 5 from the console storage down to the extended storage. And it's just that simple. And we're going to test it out, see how long it takes. All right, it's moving. Wow, that is quick. That is really freaking quick. I know how long it took me to put it on here, so that's that's moving pretty quick. So, anyways, I just wanted to ask you guys uh, that has the new PS5, what's your favorite games to play? Uh, put it in the description down below. I'd like to know what you guys are playing and what's some of your handles that you go by online I don't I don't play a whole lot online but you know hey if uh, uh, sometimes I want to play somebody you know put your your handle down below and I'll uh, I'll add you and you'll probably kick my butt because I, I don't get to play that much but I do love me some call of duty that's for certain Wow, you can see that that thing went through there a hell of a lot faster than just a standard uh, hard drive. Uh, 
I'm, I'm telling you, that, that thing is a beast. I mean, really, it is a beast. So, I couldn't be happier with that. All right, guys, now you can see uh, there's no uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 on there. Uh, you can see what games I have on there, and that's it. So, you to double check it and make sure that it went to the uh, drive. You want to get out of this here, go over to Extended Storage, click on Extended Storage, and go to Games and Apps, and you can clearly see right there is Grand Theft Auto 5. And, you know, I've still got plenty of room right over here uh, where it says extended storage there on the right, bottom right. It says I have 1.76 terabytes available. So I've got plenty enough room for more PS4 games on here. Now, keep that in mind. You're not going to be able to put your PS5 games on the SSD until, you know, they release it uh, to where you can open it up and insert the... Uh, solid state drive inside the uh, PS5, but nobody knows which uh, drives they're going to allow for PS5 to be compatible with. So right now we're just stuck uh, using the, uh, the SSD with the enclosure like what I'm doing here, and that is the fastest way. I mean, you've seen the speed was phenomenal. Uh, you know, I'm not going to do a speed test on it just simply because, you know, it's, speed test has been done on this and, you know, it, it is faster than any other drive out there. All right, for this next test, I'm going to transfer Call of Duty World War II uh, over from the console over to the solid state drive, and I'm going to test the temperature. Okay, now it's uh, it's moving. It just now started. I'm going to wait for it to get about halfway and, and check it again. So you can see right there, it says it's 79 degrees. It's going to be a little bit warmer closer to the plug right there. You can see right there it gets up to about 81, 82. Like I said, don't be alarmed at this getting warm because that, that means it's doing its job. That The heat sinks on the outside of the enclosure is just drawing the heat away from the SSD. All right, guys, it's at the last couple seconds to get it all transferred over, and it's at 91.5. So, yeah. Towards the end there, it's getting a little bit warmer, but then right there at the bottom, you can see it's only 69 degrees at the bottom of the enclosure, 68.5. Okay, now it just finished. So, you know, right there it's, you know, 85, 90, and then the further you go down, you know, it gets to about 68 degrees. So, you know, yeah, you will get some temperature increase while it's transferring that that data but you know that case is doing its job and couldn't ask for it to work any better all right guys well you can see that i'm on amazon.com and i've got the sabrent two terabyte rocket 4 plus nvme 4.0 gen 4 pcie m2 internal ssd extreme performance solid state drive and you can see that you know this thing has gotten four and a half stars uh, the price on the one terabyte is $199.98. The price on the two terabyte is $399.98. And the four terabyte is $799.99. If you're looking for speed, this is a bad boy right here. And uh, so Brent, don't play around. They, they've, got, they've got the hookup. Don't believe me? I'm going to scroll over the words right here just so all you haters can read it. Introducing the Rocket 4 Plus. What does that say? The world's fastest NVMe SSD. And there you go. It's awesome to be able to transfer your stuff that fast. So anyways, if you're curious about the read and write speeds and all that, there's your information right there. 7100 read, 6600 write. That's pretty crazy. So anyways, guys, I appreciate you watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you get to see my future videos. And until next time, guys, thanks for watching.